GoHuskies.com with women's golf coach Mary Lou Moffler. Uh, first of all, why don't you catch us up on your team? We haven't seen them on the course in a little bit of time. Uh, how's your team doing? What's going on with the girls? Team's doing well. Uh, we've played, uh, oh gosh, four or five times uh, since uh, February. Uh, just came back from Hawaii. We had a good spring break trip uh, over on Maui, which is never, uh, never tough. Um, played well. Uh, shot to six under as a team for the week and lost to UCLA by four. They shot 12 under the last day. So, I mean, what are you going to do? They were 10 under. We were six under. Um, it was a good competition. Uh, UCLA, we know, will be one of the favorites uh, at the at the national championships and the conference championships. And so we're right there. We know we're right there with them. So that was uh, that was a good week. We played a little better than we have of late. Um, you know, in years past, maybe a team like UCLA, you wouldn't be as close to. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, you can compete with them. You can compete with anybody. Yeah. Coming up this week, you got the Arizona State Tournament, which has Duke, has Alabama, has all kinds of high yeah. high teams in there. Um, what What do you expect from your girls? Um, are they Are they past that stage of being intimidated by who's in the, on the course with them? I think so. You know, it's it's we've been doing this all year. Uh, we've been to tournaments. We try and play a really good schedule. So I think we're past that. Uh, we know the competition is just going to get better and better as the year goes on. And uh, ASU is a perfect tournament leading into conference because we do have so many highly ranked teams. So it'll be a great weekend for us. Um, you get, this is your final tune-up before the Pac-12 mm -hmm. championships down in Valencia, California. Um, can you talk about where your team is, like, from a, from a skill standpoint right now, um, are they honing where, the, where they need to be? Are they, or do you think you're ready for the Pac-12s? I don't know that we're a Pac-12 sharp yet. Uh, I'm glad we have one more tournament before that. As I said, we've struggled a little bit uh, this spring, but played well uh, in Hawaii, again, against a good field and, and had a good showing, even though we, we lost by a couple. So this will be another good tune-up. A lot of good Pac-12 teams, as well as outside the Pac-12 with Alabama, Duke, et cetera. So, I feel like after this weekend, we should have a really good idea of where we're at. But we're starting to peak. We're starting to play better. Uh, the team is feeling good. They're really starting to gel. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited for these, these next few events. Mary Lou, this is your 30th year of doing yeah. this. Uh, hard to believe, but it is. Um, and it's a historic season for you. You have two girls on your team that are setting records for low low average. And you have a walk-on girl that's that's outperforming uh, probably any other walk-on you've ever had. Can you talk about, talk about those three players and what they've meant to this season so far? They've been phenomenal. I mean, obviously, uh, Charlotte Thomas and Sue Bin, you're talking about. Uh, Sue Bin has the lowest scoring average. Charlotte's right behind her. Uh, you know, you've got a sophomore and a freshman leading the way for you. Really excited about that. And, you know, at, at, as advertised, we anticipated Charlotte to come in and be a, a great player for us, and she's done just that. Sue Bin continues to get better every single week. Uh, her preparation is uh, meticulous. Uh, both of them. They just are hardworking, uh, hungry, motivated, positive young women that, that just have bright, bright futures. And Ying Lao, uh, who is uh, also the walk-on freshman you talked about, uh, has been super. She's played in every single event for us uh, except one and has continued to, to impress me just with her uh, skill set, her willingness to learn, her work ethic, uh, her attitude. So she's been, I won't say a pleasant surprise. Uh, after seeing her play, I knew she was going to be a, a good contributor to this team. But it's always nice when you kind of feel like you, you steal one, so to speak, when you get somebody that maybe was under the radar and they come in and they just perform great for you. Joining Ying and uh, Sue Bin and Charlotte are two sophomores, Sid Okino and uh, Jen Yang. Um, that gives you a pretty young lineup, three sophomores, two yeah. freshmen. Are, are there any concerns as you start heading towards Pac-12s uh, Pac and the NCAs that uh, youth might catch up to them at some point? I don't think so. They're all seasoned uh, competitors, you know, in a variety of different tournaments. I mean, Sid played in the U.S. Open when she was 15. So she's, you know, she's got that experience. Uh, Jen has played in the USAM, the U.S. Pub Lynx, uh, so there's, there's plenty of experience, maybe not at the collegiate level, but they've seen these players before, whether it be in the summer at tournaments, uh, the Canadian amateur, whatever it might be. Uh, and I think they are past that stage of being, oh, wow, you know, this or that. They know they're good. They play with a, a very quiet confidence. So I'm, I'm 
feel really good about where they're at. And yes, we're young, but I see that as a good thing. Every time we go out there, we're gaining experience. Uh, but at the same time, they're, they're, they are over that kind of, whatever you want to call it, intimidation factor or what have you. It's got to be exciting for you to think about year 31 and 32 for you with, <laughs> yeah. with that young group uh, developing yeah. if they continue going. You, you know, the sky's the limit for this team, isn't it? Yes, and they know that. You know, they have an opportunity to be the best team we've ever had, and, and that is their goal. And, you know, this year we could be the best team ever, and next year we could do, repeat that and possibly the year after that. So it is a really exciting time for us, and uh, they're excited about it. The coaches, obviously, we are too. So, you know, now is all the hard work they've put in, all those rainy, wet practices, the grind uh, of the, you know, basically the year-long process. And now we're getting right down to the fun part where we just get to go out and, and play and have fun and enjoy what we're doing. All right, Coach, good luck this weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you later on in the season. All right, sounds good. Go dogs.